Travelling down the road, I'm going through some roadworks around about Scotch Corner time. Where I'm seeing average speed cameras left, right, and centre, which I find quite interesting. And the reason I find it quite interesting is because there seems to be a need in amongst a certain class of person to consistently, permanently, all the time control everything we do and it stuck it, it, it got me to thinking about how certain people in public health view electronic cigarettes advertising thereof and so on and so forth for instance let's look at uptake of electronic cigarettes by people who have never smoked, no matter what their age. The first thing that we have to accept, and that everybody has to accept, is that in no way and at no time, no matter what, it is never safer to smoke than it is to use an e-cig. It's that simple. It's never safer to smoke than it is to vape. Vaping pauses less than 5% of the risk of smoking lit tobacco and that I have to say is being alarmist. The actual risk level is probably way lower than that but vaping's you'd have to vape for a hundred years I reckon in order to do yourself the same damage as you would if you smoked for a year. That easy. That's the first thing everybody needs to accept and understand. Once you accept and understand that, then this whole notion of people who don't smoke taking up vaping, well, let's look at that. Let's imagine, for argument's sake, you're a 12 year old lad, and 10 years ago, as a 12 year old lad, you might have thought about going down to the news agents and buying a packet of tin, or a couple of Lucy's, or whatever, and giving smoking a try. Instead, now, today, as a 12 year old lad, you decide, right, I'm gonna go and buy myself one of them e-cig things and give that a try. Where is the issue? Where is the problem? The 12 year old lad would have tried a cigarette, instead he decides to try an e-cig. And remember what we said, under no circumstances is it safer to smoke than it is to use an e-cig. The harm is reduced straight away. Same applies if he never would have smoked, if he'd never have gone to the news agents and got a packet of 10 or a packet of 20 as the TPD will make it. And trust me, if he's spent out on a packet of 20, he's gonna smoke them all, but never mind. Let's say he's not in that, that boat, that he would never have gone and tried a smoked, lit tobacco cigarette. But he decides, well, actually I might have a blast on one of these e cigs just to see what it's like. And let's assume that he enjoys the e-cig. Bear in mind he would never have smoked. That's important, he would never have smoked. So he buys the e-cig, he likes the e-cig, he sticks with the e-cig, and when he's 93, he turns his toes up and dies, and he's never stopped using the e-cig his whole life. Why is that a problem? Why is that a problem? It isn't, it's just not a problem. The e-cig is always going to be safer than smoking lit tobacco and all right he was never going to smoke lit tobacco and he never has smoked lit tobacco throughout his 93 years of life he's used an e-cig and he's fine and he made it to 93. where's the problem 
there isn't a problem. So what about the scenario where our fabled non-smoker, no matter what the age, decides, right, I'm going to try an e-cig. So it gets one, gets a good one. Generation two, generation three, whatever. Um, comes into it because he's a, a technophile. Likes the idea of the technology. And he picks up on whatever it happens to be. Now, bear in mind, he was never going to be a smoker. So he was never ever going to enjoy the taste of tobacco, of tobacco, lit tobacco that is, cigarettes, pipes, cigars, any of that. He was never going to enjoy it. Picks up an e-cig, decent one, uses it, oh, I don't know, three or four years. And then for whatever reason, his single solitary e-cig, the only one he's got, breaks or he runs out of juice and there is no way on the face of this planet he can find anything to put in the e-cig that's going to satisfy him yeah is he then going to go to the corner shop and buy a packet of fags at 20 quid or whatever price it's going to be in a few years time and a box of matches or a lighter and light the first one up what's he going to say bear in mind this is the bloke that would never have tried lit tobacco, only tried the acing because it seemed like the thing to do. If he's been using something nice and sweet and enjoyable flavor-wise, and given that he's been at it two or three years, he will have been, then mm, is he going to enjoy a lit tobacco cigarette, an ordinary, normal, what everybody used to call a cancer stick. Is he going to enjoy that? Is he actually going to go there? No, he's not. Might try a drag off his mates, but it's never going to happen. So all of this normalizing smoking behavior malarkey, all of that kind of stuff that we keep on getting thrown at us, it doesn't actually work. The bottom line on it is, is if somebody is going to smoke lit tobacco cigarettes, they are going to smoke lit tobacco cigarettes. If they were never going to do it, e-cigs aren't going to make them do it. The fact that you start on an e-cig doesn't make a heap of a difference. If you were never going to smoke tobacco cigarettes, the fact that you have vaped on an e-cig doesn't make you any more likely to smoke a tobacco cigarette. It's that easy.